It's time for Heritage Farms Christmas Style. How about that? It is time to start Random Travels. Glad you're here to watch Random Travels. Get your popcorn for Random Travels. Start the always entertaining. Start the awesome and amazing show. Welcome to the Christmas Village, you all. I have returned to Heritage Farms to check out their Christmas village. I can see that they have lots of lights around on the old timey buildings. But you know what would be really cool? Is if Squatchy Claus showed up. Ah, but that's just asking too, too much. Oh my gosh, it's Squatchy Claus right before my very eyes. What? Squatchy Claus is flying away. He is more magical and mysteriously wonderful than I had ever thought he could be. Look, he's coming back. Squatchy Claus, where's my present? Squatchy Claus, you're my hero. Squatchy Claus, you're amazing. Remember my presents and have a Merry Christmas. I hope all the zombies keep their distance. Christmas, Christmas time is here. Time for eggnog and root beer. If you eat too much fruitcake, you will get a belly ache. To the outhouse you will go, so hurry, don't be late. He went there to register with Mary, and while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. Sim in a manger, because there had been no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. until it stopped over the place where the child was. village, the child of a peasant woman. He worked in a carpenter shop until he was three, and then for three years he was an itinerant teacher. He never wrote a book, he never held an office, he never owned a home, he never went to college, he never traveled except in his embassy more than 200 miles from the place he was born. He never did one of the things that usually accompany greatness. He had no credentials but himself. While he was still a young man, the tide of popular opinion turned against him. 
His friends ran away. One of them denied him. He was turned over to his enemies. He went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. His executioners gambled for the only piece of property he had on earth, his seamless robe. When he was dead, he was taken down and laid in a borrowed grave through the courtesy of a friend. But the grave did not hold him. More than 19 centuries have come and gone, and today he is the centerpiece of the human race and the leader of all human progress. I am well within the mark when I say that all the armies that ever marched and all the navies that ever were built, all the parliaments that ever sat, and all the kings that ever reigned put together have not affected the life of man upon this earth as powerfully as this one solitary one. I just know there's some Christmas music coming. I can feel it in my bones. I've got a little Christmas story. I'm sorry, but it's sad. It'll either break your heart to or make you scratch your head. A few years ago on Christmas Eve, Santa was at our house. He must have been tired because he laid down for a minute on our couch. He jumped up in a hurry, checked all his reindeer, flew off into the darkness. They were scratching from ear to ear. It was the loudest Christmas we ever had, one we'll never forget. Scratching this and combed our hair and we're not over it yet. Santa Claus don't come to our house anymore, don't care if we're naughty or nice. We're the ones that gave Santa Claus and all his reindeer lice. They's late getting back to the North Pole, it took them three or four days. They scratched and itch the doggone much, they almost lost their way. Santa Claus shaved all his hair off, and he shaved his whiskers too. When he shaved the hair off all the reindeer, Rudolph's snows turned blue. It was the lousiest Christmas we ever had, one we'll never forget. Scratched and itch and combed our hair, we're not over it yet. Santa Claus don't come to our house anymore, don't care if we're naughty or nice. We're the ones that gave Santa Claus and all his reindeer lice. We wrote Santa Claus a letter. He called us on the phone. Said he'd drop our presents in the yard, but he wouldn't come in our home. So every year on Christmas Eve, out in the snow and ice, he drops him presents in the yard cause he don't want to catch no lice. Was the lousiest Christmas we ever had, one we'll never forget. Scratched and this and combed our hair, we're not over it yet. Santa Claus don't come to our house anymore, don't care if we're naughty or nice. We're the ones that gave Santa Claus and all his reindeer lice. Now you've heard our Christmas story, I told you it was sad. I know it's about to kill you, so go on and scratch your head. Christmas. 
Boy, it's sure good to be out of the cold and into this nice warm place. Also known as the Transportation Museum. I get so emotional. <clears throat> Looking at all this cool stuff in here. I'm afraid I'm just going to have to sing an emotional song about it. Old cars and choo-choo trains. The old gas pumps of yesterday. Bands playing in the park. The chupacabras began to bark. The old days are the ones I miss. I'd like to put them on Santa's list. Bring them back in a package with a bow. I'll hop on the train and off I'll go. To the old fashioned Christmas time. When guy wore his big hats, but that was fine. Until the kids would knock him off with a snowball. Ha ha. Don't mind me, just look at the cars and the trucks and the airplanes and all that stuff whilst I pull myself together. Anyways, I guess you don't really need to hear me any. You can see for yourself what's going on. So I'll just leave you for now and I'll see you next adventure wherever and whenever that may be. And remember, it's Christmas time, so don't forget about the naked homeless Sasquatches. Squatchy Claus would appreciate it. Christmas everybody!